Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is Enhance Privacy ID, a direct anonymous attestation scheme with enhanced revocation capabilities in the domain secure computing. Let's see the overview of our project. In the direct anonymous attestation scheme, which enables a remote authentication of a trusted platform module. The direct anonymous session means with a group of public key, we generate a single private key. That is, the user with a group of public encrypted message, they can provide a single private key. That is, they can provide a single decrypted message to an valid user. In this paper, we present a new DAA scheme called Enhanced Privacy ID scheme that address the above limitation while still providing the unlinkability of our scheme providing a method to revoke a TPM even if a TPM private key is unknown. The expected revocation property makes the, our scheme useful for other applications such as the driver license. Our EPID scheme is efficient and broadly secure in the same security model as DAA. That is the random oracle model under the strong RSA and the Diffie Hellman. Here we generate our algorithm with the help of RSA algorithm. In our existing model, we demonstrate adversary in the control of an invalid user and no attestation is provided to an user. And each time the ID is get permitted for all validation of an verifier, no security is maintained in our existing model. In our proposed strategy, we have an issuer, verifier, revocation manager and the user. Here the user we separated as a temporary user and the permanent user. The issuer who generate who generates the ID for each each user. The verifier who verifies the user as the valid user or invalid user. The revocation manager is that the capability of maintaining our public key and private key and this the key is maintained in our revocation capabilities. A proposed model, the attestation is provided for an valid user. After providing the attestation, the user can can able to view the decrypted message that is with a group of public encrypted message the user can view their decrypted message let's see the flowchart of our project it's our flow it's our data flow diagram of our project we consider the user that is we consider the user as either temporary user or a permanent user the temporary user can enter our process in only once and the and for permanent user we have the validation for particular days now the user came and the user can get the id that is the issuer is providing the id here and the id they what they are getting will be stored in our database and the user registration and everything the data will be stored in our particular database and the user the ID which get generated by an issuer. Here we have a third party user. The third party user will be the communication that, that is providing the communication between the user and the verifier and the revocation manager. That is Vivo the what the role of verify is verifies the it works that is the user is a valid user or invalid user once a user is get valid they can they can generate a key that is by using the rsa algorithm we generate the key that is both the public key and private key is get maintained the public key and private key both the key will be separated maintained in a particular database when uh, when the user comes enter into our application first the public key is get generated that is they can view only the encrypted message after verification is get processed the third party will give intro to um, will give intro to an user the user can get their own key that is the private key they can view their original message it's about our data flow diagram let's see the demo of our project this is our first model that is providing the membership authority here the user is going to enter with the with them with the, we have an issue where the issuer will generate the ID and provide all those verification. Let's see our process. Now I am going to give the service user name. That is, I have entered my name as LSM and the user group is going to enter. Here the user is going to choose the field and I am choosing the valid date. That is, the user is get valid only for this particular date. And after this date, the user cannot enter into this application and cannot access this particular file. And I am entering my email ID and I am giving my own mobile verification code. And I am going to access my file here. So I am choosing my own file here. Now the user is going to choose their own file. Here I am choosing my file as here I am choosing my own file as welcome 
and I'm getting my own ID. The ID will be generated by the issue. And now the user is going to access the particular file. Here, this is our secure level data identity and key generation form. This is uh, second module. This is actually our second module. Here, the user is going to access the record. I'm, and here, I'm choosing my own file. And I'm going to generate the key. We use our RSA algorithm. Using our RSA algorithm, when I click on this generate key button, the file will be get um, separated into two keys that is both the public key and private key and both the file will be get, both the keys will be get maintained by the revocation manager and now the key will be get stored and uh, now I am going to from going to my next process this is our secure data processing here the here the DA will be pre processed here my I am getting my own file here when I click on the secure encrypt my file is get encrypted this encrypted is file is going for the comparison that is I am going to validate this this file so I'm sending my file to an verifier here I'm going to give and verify, verify an IP address I'm giving my IP address as I'm giving my IP address here and when I click on this transmit button the file will be transmitted to the verifier now check the verific verifier will be get idle here and, uh, and I'm going to transmit my file here how my file is get transmitting that is my I'm going to verify that is I'm a valid user or not now the data has been received now I'm going to process that is here will be have an validation stage here the user is checks their own uh, user how to choose the I verifier user verify verify the user IP address and the verify user IP address will be choose and the file name will be get displayed here and when I click on this verify button here I'm going for key validation process. The key will that is both the public key and private key will be validated here. The if uh, as the user choice. Here I'm choosing the valid. Uh, if if I choose the different file means I will not be permitted to access my own file. So here I'm choosing my own file. Um, that is both the public key and private key will be get displayed. This is the uh, key validation process. And when I click on this membership verifier, the signature will be get generated. The uh, generated signature will be generated by the membership provider. Now I am going to process my file, process my request. When I click on this process button, here I have here I am getting my uh, name. And when I click on this request prover, the prover will be get verified. The prover will get the request from the issuer. Then the issuer will be providing the ID. Now I have clicked on this request prover button. Now the ID has been generated by the issuer. That is here the prover will get request from an issuer, and the issuer will verify this particular username, user or process, and the ID will be get generated. And when I click on this membership provider, the attestation will be get provided. And when I click on this process button, here the user key that is uh, this for decrypting the file, the user needs the e key. The, so the key will be get generated here. Also, an email ID for that particular user so that from this uh, ID only the user is going to transmit the file. When I click on this transmit button, the file now the file has been transmitted to this particular user mail ID that is with both the attestation and also the user key has been transmitted with the help of this attestation with the help of this generator. The user has to uh, decrypt the file. Now I am going for the user process. When I click on this receiver button, now I am going to give my attestation key. In this attestation now I am now I am giving my attestation key from my mail ID mail um, which I received from my mail the, uh, this attestation key was sent by a verifier now I click now I am keep clicking on this validation button the user is get valid now now I am going to generate the key here I have uh, this is called an DAA that is direct anonymous attestation that is with the group um, with the help of a group of public key we are going to generate a single private key now I have, have got a decrypted message that is what we called as an DAA that is here the user will be wicked valid only after all the validation that is the actual process for here what have and for real time example we can take an, take into the account of license verification in a toll gate also an ID verify only the operation user can access the account then the rest of the file will be get only in an encrypted format also the user cannot be accessed the file only after getting the attested key the user can access the file this is about our project thank you